In this video, we're going to learn how to use LeanTween to apply easing functions to our game object animations. LeanTween is an efficient animation engine for Unity, which has been made available for free by Dented Pixel. Easing functions specify the rate of change over time. Objects in real life don't just start and stop instantly, and easing functions can be used to give an animation the right look and feel. First, we're going to create our five cubes. We can do this by creating one cube and duplicating it four times. Now, let's switch to the game view window so we can position all of our cubes at the top of our game view. And then, line them up from right to left. Instead of adding a script component to each of our five cubes, Let's instead create an empty game object, which we'll name Easing Manager, and then give it a single script component named Easing Manager Script. We're going to open this script in our editor of choice and expose five public game object variables. Switching back to Unity, we can now assign these game objects by dragging them over from the hierarchy window to the desired field in the inspector window. Back in our script, let's write some code that uses LeanTween to move all five of our cubes from where they start down to the bottom of the screen. We're going to make this animation last for two seconds. We can test to make sure this works. As you can see, we have five cube game objects starting instantly, moving at a constant speed, and stopping instantly at their destination. Now, let's use different easing functions with these movement animations to make them look more natural or interesting. To get an idea of how an easing function will look, you can visit easings.net and mouse over the different easing plots to see how they will work over time. Let's give our first moving animation a bounce. You can simply chain a set ease function off of the lean tween move function. Switching back to the editor, we can see we have a nice fall and a bounce. Let's give our second movement animation an easing that makes it go slightly past our destination before returning and settling down. Back in the editor, we can see it does exactly that. For our third movement animation, let's give it a smooth easing, but then also use the loop ping pong method to make it loop the animation back and forth. It seems to be working as expected. For the fourth movement animation, let's give it a linear and looped easing on the vertical movement, but also give it some horizontal movement that loops too. We've also set the duration of the horizontal movement to just half a second. Now we can see it's swaying side to side as well as moving up and down. Finally, let's give the fifth movement animation a smooth easing and then also use a smooth easing to rotate it back and forth on its y-axis by 90 degrees. Back in Unity, we can see this is behaving as expected as well. This is just the beginning of what can be achieved with LeanTween. That's it for our video on easing functions.